Bye. Sky is going to join us today for what the ladybird heard, which is perfect because there's two purring cats in this story. Yeah, let's look at the farmyard. We have a cow and a pig. Yes, some sheep, a duck, there's a cat. Let's see what the ladybird heard. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep and a hairy dog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow and a ladybird. Can you see the ladybird there? And how many fish? One, two, three, four, five. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack went the duck. Nay, said the horse, and oink went the hog. Ba said the sheep, and woof said the dog. One cat meowed, why the other cat purred. And the ladybird said never a word. There's the ladybird. She's very quiet. Do you see the ladybird? But the ladybird saw, and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, this is how we're gonna steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate at the dead of the night, past the horse, then turn right, round the duck pond, past the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog left past the sheep and straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow shed look there's the ladybird she can see what the map says and the little spotty ladybird who had never said a word told the animals this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at the dead of the night. They'll pass the horse, then turn right. Around the duck pond, pass the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead. And in through the door of the prize cow shed. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And both cats begin to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. There's the ladybird sat on the cow's nose. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered into each animal's ear all the way. Whoa. At the dead of the night, two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Linky Lynn, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tipped into the farm they then the goose said, nay, with all of her might. 
And Lin said, that's the horse. Turn right. <gasps> that's not the horse. Who is it? It's the goose. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck said, you were on the right track. Oink, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ba ba, said the fat red hen. The sheep were nearly there, said Lynn. Then the duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. <gasps> There's the duck, he's mooing. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splosh! And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh, he called the cops and they came, Nina. And they threw the thieves into the panda car. Look at all the animals, they're all laughing because they tricked Hefty Hugh and Maggie Lynn. Look, he has a frog on his head. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay said the horse and oink went the hog. Ba said the sheep, woof said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word. And there they go. All the farm animals and the farmer are very happy. And the cops are taking away Hefty Hugh and Manky Lynn. Look, they stepped into the poo and they fell into the duck pond. Look, there's a rainbow. The end. Look how happy the cats are. And you can see the little ladybird right on top. So that was what the ladybird heard. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we do. We absolutely adore this book. Farm animals are some of the first animals your little monster learns about. Um, some of the first noises and sounds and words that they might make are farm animal noises. Um, so it's a story that can start from a really young age and um, even your older monsters being introduced now will just absolutely love the silliness of the story, how the um, animals come together and trick Hefty Hugh and Lanky Lynn by making their different animal noises. It's got a great rhyming text and once again beautiful illustrations so yeah pick this up if you don't already have it in your collection it is definitely going to be a classic enjoy your day bye